Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. You know that uh, AI is getting out of control out here with like <laughs> the way they're writing and like fake news stories and fake videos, deep fakes. You know, you can't really tell what's right or wrong, right? Yeah. But yeah. one thing that you can always depend on is scientific peer-reviewed journals. Okay, right? Okay. Because okay. they write the paper, they send it, people read it, it gets proofread by peers, it gets approved, it goes through a process, mm. it's put in a scientific journal. Falsification seems pretty easy, but okay, I'm I'm liking where you're going. So, there was a story that made it through the entire scientific peer review process. Okay. And it ended up being a AI generated story about a rat with a giant penis. <sighs> And they were like, even like the pictures in the report, they had fake AI pictures with like fake names of stuff, like organs and like whatever. It it got published to the point where they had to like retract it. Yeah. And it's just this diagram of like a my mouse with God. like this ridiculously large penis. Oh my God, man. Yeah. It's insane because somebody had to go through the painstaking labor to actually like make it a believable grift. I don't know what the grift is. It's just yeah, funny. but from what I read in the story, like I read the story a while back when I when I noted it, it's like it didn't even really make sense. So it's like they didn't even like read it. They didn't actually read it. It's like oh, you have one job to to validate these articles we're putting out in a scientific journal, and you're just like oh, big rat penis. I'm in check. <sighs> it's like. Mm. Just seeing that story come to my desk, I'd be like, I don't believe this. A big, a big, big rat? Like a rat that has a penis bigger than its body, essentially. Oh, it was that big? It was like this giant phallus. I'm thing. obviously not going to show it on the video. I'm not even going to well, Google it's, it's, that. It just looks like an internal. Like, it doesn't look like, it, you, it doesn't look like a penis. It's just like, it's like a rat, and it has like this big thing, and it's like, but yeah, uh, dude. Yeah, it's, I'm not looking that up. And, um, and yeah. I'm just like, dude, for real? <sighs> It, it's it's scary, man. It's getting worse out here. We've already, we've talked about the AI stuff a bunch of times. AI video is getting absolutely insane. Um, if you go on Reddit and you look at some of the AI video uh, subreddits, man, people are getting to the point. Like I I've I've in the past said that AI art artists quote quotation on the artist part. But uh, it's kind of like programming to a certain extent with like the strings of uh, terms that you have to put in for the AI to create what you want. Okay. So to that extent, it is an art form where I would say like a programmer is an artist. So it's like uh, so it's like they it's almost like they have to write a a poem for the uh, AI to do the right thing. I ain't gonna say they're writing poetry. I'm gonna say they're writing code. All right. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Okay. As much as the person that writes code can create the land before time. I don't know why I went to that movie. <laughs> I don't know if that's what happened, but sure. But let's say well, I'll roll with it. Let's say uh the, what's the movie with the blue creatures? Avatar. So somebody had to write code for that movie to exist because it's like mostly CGI. Sure. I don't know how CGI works, but we'll, we'll say that's it. Well, you type in the computer what you wanted to do, and it does All it. blue figure moving around slow. No, that's not what happens. I don't think that's exactly it, but we'll roll with it. Let's either go. way, either way. Somebody had to type something in. I feel like AI artists Somebody do the same thing. Somebody had to type something in. I feel like AI artists. The bits got in the way, and they just... <laughs> I feel like AI artists do the same thing when they type something in, and if manipulates the the um the algorithms mid, the al yeah sure the algorithms yeah the algorithms it get manipulates manipulated. the computer or the the uh the thing to do what you wanted to do so i think that it is in a, in a form it at least is a talent because i couldn't jump on there type in some ish and do it but with practice obviously i could like with any other art form Okay. So I, I, mean, I don't. I see the realm you're skipping around. Exactly, but regardless, it is getting scary, man. With the fact that like it's getting more popular, like AI, I hear the word AI every day now. Oh yeah, like my phone has a version of an quote unquote AI in it where it can like manipulate images and shit. Like, but the AI videos are getting really out of hand, man. They're getting to the point where they're hardly distinguishable from reality. Yeah. It's good. 
AI is better at doing hands and mouth and eyes and it's just getting it's getting scary especially with the election year there's already been stuff in in the in the news about uh ai voice work over the phones and they've already made that portion illegal uh i think they're starting to come with a uh with an idea of putting like watermarks on uh any, like official videos like any if you're using any of the online ai stuff they're going to require it to have a watermark so that we know so you can like tell but yeah, then people are going to come up with anti-watermark software yeah i mean that that definitely is but at least it'll keep like you know if it if it hinders anybody it hinders somebody right 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 like it'll 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 curb startups but the people who are good at it will keep going and get better yeah but... you know it's like when you Every time, like back when like cracking programs used to be a thing, people would like, they'd come out with a new way to crack a program and there'd be less of them, but they'd still be out there. So it's like, and then what ended up happening? They had to get like a, they had to get like a subscription method to end cracking programs because exactly. now you have to have a live subscription. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So it's going to be like, I don't know what they're going to do. It's getting wild. Like, um, well, it was funny because there was that video of Will Smith, AI video of Will Smith eating spaghetti a long time ago, the real oh, like right. sloppy one. And then... <laughs> Will Smith put out his own version of him eating spaghetti to kind of mock it. I and like it. in the comments are like, oh, my God, I thought this was AI. I yeah. didn't realize he really did it. And that freaks me out. Bro, you don't even you can't trust your own eyes anymore. Oh. What's real? What's not? Right. Yeah. It's, America's going to fall in love with an AI generated woman soon enough. It's, 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 we're going to have like a, an AI generated actress and everyone's going to think she's real. And yeah. she's not. And it's going to come out later. She's not. <laughs> I mean that that has already happened. Well, that's what I mean. Japan does that shit. <laughs> yeah, Japan is known for that ish, man. They've been putting out anime avatars and, and making money off of that. We need to put out an anime avatar. We should have an anime avatar as our uh, our heads on should some we? of these videos. Yeah, oh, they they wait. have like uh they have like the things where like you can make an anime avatar and its mouth moves whenever you talk. Okay. And we could sync it up with both of our voices so we have like two of them. Okay. And they just like talking back and you forth. You figure it out, I'll do it. I'm probably not, but my might, honestly. I won't. I might. I won't. I might. Now I that know. You, I, now mean, you... I feel like that's something you would do. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't like the idea? I think it's dumb, but I... <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'll I'll do an episode of my yeah. my anime avatar talking about black coffee and mice with wouldn't fake you, penises. Wouldn't you love to be like a little raccoon head in the in the corner? Nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more. I'd want every, more than that. And every time you talk, the raccoon opens his mouth. I it's... think I could die after we did that. I'd be fine. I don't know. I feel like I'd be. Yeah, I just see. And you know, it's when you talk like that about technology, I wonder how you feel. Have you ever messed with any AI stuff at all? I showed you a you little. You showed bit. me the one, and I've like typed a couple words in and like generated photos, yeah. and I'm like, huh, huh, huh. and like, <laughs> and it was really funny because it was well, actually it was really funny, and I, it, I didn't realize how prevalent it was um, until. I was talking to some people and they were like, oh, we should put together a document to like keep track of like some things. And I was like, if one of y'all wants to put it together, feel free. And, uh, and the girl was like, I'll do it. And she was, came back like a little bit later and she was like, I've never really messed with doing this, but like I use chat GPT, so it might mm -hmm. need some work. And I was like, oh, you just went straight to chat GPT and it did it for that you. And it. I'm like, okay, like yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting, you know, just, I didn't realize that it was that prevalent. And look, I have to say it is like it's some Star Trek, the next generation type shit. When you can go to a, a, a website and you can be like, hey, create this for me. It almost feels like you're on like the hollow deck and you're just like manifesting like a croissant out of thin air. It's like, hey, create a document that does this. Hey, write a book that does this. So I'm going to start making AI books and put them on Amazon to sell. And see, and those people are grifters and they deserve to be put in jail. And I hope that there's a law that comes up against those people. In, in I bought future. a book one time. You like, told it, me. And I was like what the f is this like yeah. the grammatical errors and like and then when i tried to re like i was gonna return it to amazon it was just like just keep it keep it and, and then here's your money back yeah <laughs> i was just like oh god damn yeah. okay they don't even want to fight they're just like nah just keep it yeah 
We don't want to fight because we don't want to get reported. Just whatever. Yeah, it is insane. But yeah, I, yeah, but it is a very cool, and I think that I think once it's regulated properly, and once we can get it to the point where it can manufacture, like we already have three D printers, where it can manufacture like things, like in reality, that's going to be great. I don't know if we're going to see that in our time life or in our lifetime. But it, it's it's very cool, but it's very dangerous, and that's the problem. The internet was very cool and very dangerous in its, in its inception, so it's really no different from everything this. is very cool and very dangerous. It's all about how you use it. Like, I mean, a gun is very cool and very dangerous, but if you ain't shooting somebody with it, it can do some cool shit. So, uh, you know, it's not. You know, it's cool and not dangerous, Jonas. Me uh, eating healthy. No. <laughs> It is cool and, and being I, and being nice to your neighbor. Yeah, treating the elderly with respect. Yeah, and yeah. loving your mom. I, I, that's yep. very cool and not dangerous I at that. all. Uh, that's all time we have for this episode. Go to the crazy town count, the crazy town dot com and subscribe for Jonas. T U Z. Uh, we are up.